G'day guys, Matt here from City Physio. Uh, we're gonna run through a few quick exercises to help bulletproof your hamstrings before sports season starts again. Uh, we're gonna start from some really easy ones up until some quite difficult ones where we're loading um, over a longer range of motion. Uh, so let's get started with some double leg bridges. What you'll aim to do with these is have a lie down onto your back. Now, you wanna bring your heels closer to your bum, okay? That's gonna allow your glutes to engage nice and strong and support your hamstrings. What we're thinking about is keeping your knees in line with your feet and your shoulders. Imagine your body is on train tracks and it doesn't leave. So we don't want to be rolling out through the knees, rolling in through the knees. It's all nice and straight, okay? So what we're gonna do is push your knees slightly out and then drive your hips up towards the ceiling. Make sure we're keeping our core nice and tight so you're not rolling in through your back, okay? And collapsing through your back. And then you're gonna come back down nice and slow. You'll go through repetitions of this to fatigue, okay, so make sure you're maintaining nice form, good stability through the core, good stability through the lower limb. Okay, you can make this a little bit harder by increasing the depth at which you're doing the exercise. So if you get yourself next to um, a staircase or if you've got a nice box or a chair that you can pop your legs up onto, by all means use that, okay? So I'm gonna use this box here, same principle, just rest your feet on the arch on the edge of, of your step or your chair and then drive your hips up toward the ceiling. Think about slow and steady. We're really working for control as much as anything else here. Okay, if, you, if you're powering through those and you're not having too many issues, um, we want to challenge you a little bit more with your loading. Okay, so we're going to remove one leg and do a single leg bridge. All right, so just popping one leg up in the air this, in, this in, um, basically includes a rotatory challenge as well because what we, want to, what we don't want to do is drop the hip that you don't have support with. So driving your leg up towards the ceiling and we don't want to see that hip drop. Okay, so keep nice and square through the hips. So you might decrease your repetitions here, but again, we're focusing on quality, not quantity, okay? Hip square, good range of motion, core tight, okay, and work as many as you can. Now, once we've gone through that, we've, we've gone through some nice shortening contractions, uh, we can look for some lengthening contractions now, and what we know is that um, an exercise called the Nordic Hamstring Curl is really good at challenging, challenging us over a longer range. You might need a partner to help you with this one, so I'm gonna call Jordan in, um, and we will pop a mat out so at home you might use a pillow or something of the like. Um, give yourself a bit of space. And what you'll need your partner to do, I'll just move forward slightly, is hold down on your calf bulk, okay? So nice firm pressure because I'm gonna be dropping towards the floor and I don't wanna break my nose, okay? So, core tight, okay? We wanna make sure that we keep our back nice and consistent throughout the range. We're basically gonna to start to lower slowly towards the floor. All right, catch yourself before you hit the floor and work through again as many repeti repetitions as you can, focusing on depth and control. And your last exercise will incorporate a lengthening and a shortening element, and that's your classic deadlift. So if you're at home or if you're in the gym, um, what you wanna do is grab uh, a barbell or grab uh, a kettlebell, okay? What we're gonna aim for is feet shoulder width apart, you want to keep your knees in line with your second toes, okay? And we're going to basically hinge through the hip, lowering our uh, weight towards the floor, driving up through the back of the hip, okay? So we want to make sure that we're nice and consistent with that lower limb alignment. We want to make sure that your back is nice and straight, you're lowering your chest down towards the ground, and then you're driving up through the posterior chain. From the, from the side, what that will look like is bend through the knees and then drop your chest down towards the ground before you drive up into extension with the posterior chain of your body. So that's your progressive strength work. The last thing we're gonna talk about is a stretch. If you're feeling a bit tight, you've been working really hard through your hamstrings, what is the best way to stretch them out? Um, my favorite way to stretch out your hamstrings is pop back onto the ground. I'm gonna use a stretch band, all right? If you don't have one of these, um, grab a towel from, from home, okay? 
have a light onto your back. Light on your back is great because it keeps your pelvis neutral. Your pelvis is the attachment point of your hamstring, so we don't want too much flex through the back or through the pelvis because that might put other things on the stretch as well. So let's isolate, have a light onto your back. Bring your foot back towards your chest, okay? Keep your knee nice and straight, and you'll get a nice stretch in through the back of your thigh there, okay? You want to try and hold that for 30 seconds and you want to repeat that throughout the day. I usually like to aim for five to six times per leg. So the nice comprehensive uh, strength and stretch program to get you uh, ready for football. So good luck with your season um, and hopefully we don't see you anytime soon in clinic.